This lesson will help you demonstrate understanding of divisions of whole numbers without remainders, including many. After going through this lesson, you are expected to divide 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers with and without remainders. This time, let us identify the parts of a division. In 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 12 is a dividend. We have also here the division sign. 3 is a divisor. And we have also here an equal sign. In 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 4 is the answer. 4 is a quotient. This time, let us identify the parts of division in this equation. In this equation, 3 is a divisor and 13 is the dividend. 13 divided by 3 is equals to 4. 4 times 3 is equals to 12. 13 minus 12 is equals to 1. 4 is a quotient and 1 is a remainder. Read each item carefully. Write the correct answer in your notebook. Number 1. The quotient is 68. The divisor is 9. Give the dividend. How many fours are there in 130? Number 3. What will be the remainder if 261 is divided by 5? Number 4. In 625 divided by 10, what is the remainder? The quotient is 30. The dividend is 900. What is the divisor? Let us analyze the example problem. Rosa collected 875 seashells to make necklaces. She used 17 seashells for each necklace. To find the answer, you must divide 875 by 70. And now, let us follow the following steps to answer the given equation. 875 divided by 70. First, take the first number at the left of the dividend. In this equation, 875 divided by 70. 8 is the first number at the left of the dividend. So 8 divided by 70. But 8 is less than 70. 70 is greater than 8. If the first digit of the dividend is less than the divisor, take the first two digits, which is 8 and 7. 8 is 7 divided by 70 is equals to 1 third proceed in the division process multiplication subtraction and bring down 
1 times 70 is equals to 70. 87 minus 70 is equals 70. Bring down 5. 4. Repeat the same procedure of the last digit in the dividend. 175 divided by 70 is equals to 2. 2 times 70 is equals to 140. 175 minus 140 is 35. And for the last steps, if the quotient is not exact, it means that there is a remainder. Write the remainder beside the quotient. Our final answer is 12 remainder 35. Provide the correct answer inside the color boxes. Write your answer in your notebook. What is the quotient if the dividend is 4,004 and with the divisor of 28? What is the divisor if the dividend is 3,150 and with the quotient of 89? What is the quotient of 6,592 and 32? If the quotient is 12 and the dividend is 2,124, what is the divisor? What is the quotient of 3,920? And 16. Reminders In dividing 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit divisors without and with remainder, follow these steps. Take the first number of the left of the dividend. If the first digit of the dividend is less than the divisor, Take the first two digits, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. Repeat the same procedure up to the last digit in the dividend. If the quotient is not exact, it means that there is a remainder. Write the remainder beside the quotient. Choose the letter of the best answer. What will you get if you divide 620 by 20? 21 B 210 C 31 D 310 What is the quotient of 896 divided by 16? A 36 B 46 C 56 D 66 How many 27 are there in 1250? A 35 B 45 C 55 and D 65 Which of the following numbers is not divisible by 10? 1. 350 2. 473 3. 5250 4. 6752 A. 1 and 3 B. 1 and 2 C. 2 and 3 and D. 2 and four. If the divisor is 15 and the dividend is 1,565, what is the quotient? A. 
104, B. 104, remainder 33, C. 104, remainder 5, and D. 105.